Hey, it's Mike here. I recently purchased the SM450 V2 quadcopter kit from RC Timer. It seemed like a good value for the price, but I quickly found out the included carbon reinforced propellers have an issue. I believe that they are severely unbalanced, as every prop that I tested was unbalanced. I got some comments on my quad videos about the glue and screws that I had added to do the rebalancing. Problem isn't so much the blades being unbalanced, but the hubs. Let me show you what I mean. This is the balancer that I use. It's a Great Plains fingertip prop balancer. I built the base and sides. The sides have rare earth magnets in them. I use a level to level it. Check out how unbalanced the prop is. I should be able to let go of the prop and it should stay in place, but it falls to one side. So let's walk through the process of balancing these props. First, let's balance the blades. I'm going to apply some adhesive tape to the lighter side of the prop until it's horizontal. You can also add some CA or paint or sand away the back side of the heavier blade. Now the blades are balanced. You might think we're done, but we're not. The prop is not balanced yet. We should be able to let go of the prop at any position and it should stay still. Look at what happens when I let go of it. So why isn't it balancing? It's because one side of the hub is heavier than the other. How do you fix it? First determine what side of the hub is heaviest. You do this by moving the prop around at different positions, letting go and seeing which part falls to the bottom. The part on the bottom is too heavy. It's hard to understand it, but imagine a large lead weight attached to the bottom. So now you have two ways to fix it. Add more weight to the lighter side, which is the top, or take away weight from the heavier side, which is the bottom. You can take away weight by sanding, grinding, or drilling out some from the hub, but be careful not to compromise its structural integrity. I will choose to add weight to the lighter side. Find a small wood screw. A service screw works good too. Drill a small pilot hole in the prop hub and screw in the screw. Test for balance again, starting with the screw on the top. Let go of the prop in any position and it should stay fixed. If the screw goes to the bottom, the screw is too heavy. If the screw goes back to the top, it's too light. Increase the screw size until the prop balances. You might need to increase the pilot hole size. I got this one balanced. Notice how it can just let go of the prop at any position and it stays fixed. If you can't get the right screw size, use the smaller screw and then add some glue to increase its weight. When the glue dries, you can just cut away some glue if it's not too heavy. David from Flight Test recommends using hot glue. This is quick, but hot glue melts in the heat, so I prefer using Amazing Goop instead. Once the prop balances with the screw chosen, use a little CA on the screw to help keep it in place. These RC timer props appear to be consistently unbalanced and require weight in the same place on the hub on every prop, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Because of this, I think they have a manufacturing or molding issue. I wouldn't suggest using these props on your multi-rotor. Hopefully, I can get my money back on these. If I can't, I guess I can rebalance them and still use them. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to get reminders for future videos.